price is lifted high. Be my Lord and Savior. Take my life. Thank you, Jesus. Join us today in worshiping Jesus Christ. Welcome to Evangelism in Action. This is Calgary, Canada, a city ripe and ready for the harvest. Street Church has been evangelizing the lost for years on Calgary City streets, and God is faithful, moving in a big way. In this episode, you'll get a glimpse of our ministry in action as we worship, serve food to the homeless, and lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus said, go make disciples of the nations, and this is something everyone can do by the power of the Holy Spirit in any city. What about yours? Welcome to Street Church. We hope you'll be blessed. We thank you for the protection. We pray for peace over this place in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless this food in your name to our bodies and we pray that you will touch many hearts today. Give Father, give people hope because you are hope. With you, everything is possible. And for many of us, Getting off the streets or getting off the addictions, it's an impossible task. But with you, Father, nothing is impossible. So I bless, Father, everyone that can hear me here in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With the Son of the living God that died for everyone. And we pray that you would give us a blessing upon this gathering. And we thank you for every soul, for every person, for every volunteer and for the person that came to eat. Bless us all today in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for peace and joy overwhelming in the name of Jesus. Well, welcome. Welcome every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in a church under the biggest roof in the world. Amen. In a church that you can come in and go out anytime you want. You don't have to listen to the end of the preaching. <laughs> of course you don't have to. You can come in just for the food. You can come in for the spiritual food as well. Either way, you're welcome here. You're welcome here. And we bless you. So have a good time, guys. We brought lots of food. So don't be shy. Take one portion, you can go back to the lineup and take another. We brought lots of stuff today for you. So be blessed. And of course, tomorrow at 7 p.m. again in this park for another barbecue. You're welcome to join us in the courts tomorrow. As you 
know that we are battling with the city of Calgary. Actually, they are battling with us. They are dragging us before the courts. We stood with six times before six judges last year. And tomorrow is another day in courts, two o'clock. We will be meeting there, one o'clock. You're welcome to join us. If you think what we are doing is good and is a blessing to you, one o'clock at the new courthouse. We're going to be praying and singing national anthem and then we'll go before the judge to be tried as the common criminals for feeding you guys. But you know, I'm rejoicing because we're living in a time of fulfillment of Jesus' words. He said, they hated me first. They persecuted me first. You see, all the prophets, most of them were stoned and killed because they were spokesmen for God. They were addressing corruption, evil doing in the government and on the streets. And people didn't like that. Some people didn't like it, but many got saved because of their faithfulness. Most of the apostles were killed because they were sharing hope with people. So it's a privilege to be in the same company with those men that walked before us. And this is once again proving that God is not like you, that God is not like me. He is not a liar. It's impossible for God to lie. When he said those times will happen, will come, that means they will happen, they will come. The times when Men will look at the good deeds and will call evil. A time that men will look at evil things and will call good. Everything upside down. Because men loves darkness so much that will reject the light. You know, many people will give you different ideas why Christians do what they do. But you see, for us, it's not an option. It's God's commandment to take care of the widows poor, orphans, broken-hearted, people that are in need. It's not an option. First of all, it's our right in this country to help the poor, but that's a man's law. But then there's another law. It's a law of God. It's a commandment. When we'll stand before our Creator of heavens and the earth, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we will have to give an account for what we did with our lives. Many people are living selfish lives. They got their money, they got their palaces, they got their wealth and prestige and power, and they are living selfishly for themselves. And I have been there, and many of you have been there. But you see, we'll stand before this Holy of Holies, God Almighty, and we'll have to give Him an account. And one of those accounts will be, what did you do with your time, with your life? Did you waste it on yourself? Or you help someone. Jesus says, if you give a cup of water to the least of the children of God, it's like giving a cup of water to Jesus himself. 